morning glory, y'all. Chug half this, mix half of it into my mug of coffee there. So what are you doing at the dentist? Just a checkup? I just have to get my x-rays. It's not even gonna be a checkup, so it'll be pretty fast. And then I'm going to have this. Greetings up once and welcome back to another vlog. This weekend I'm going to be doing a little weekend in my life video for you and today is Friday and I'm getting ready to go to the dentist. If you guys follow me on TikTok, I did a what I got for Christmas after Christmas haul on there and I treated myself to the Carrie Tra Merino Wool base layers. They're just 100% Merino Wool and they are so warm and comfortable. My bump is loving them. I'm 22 weeks when I'm filming this. My bump gets progressively bigger like throughout the day, especially after I eat and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm wearing these base layers, but I'm also gonna put on these yellow pants and this pinky sweater on top of it. And I'm wearing my bombas too. Ah. Oh, by the way, bombas are compression socks <laughs> for those of you who don't know. And um, at this point in my pregnancy, I am needing those. I'm just experiencing a little bit of knee and ankle pain, foot pain on occasion. And when I read my 22 week update, like what's going on in your body or whatever, I realized that that was not abnormal. <laughs> oh my God, there's a base layer stuck inside of here. Anyway, while these base layers are really warm and comfortable, I don't actually really need them that much because it's kind of warm out today. Way warmer than it has been. It's literally been like six degrees some nights here. And the past two days it's warmed up a little bit and it has been raining. So it's melting some of the snow away, but I'm still in my comfy cozies. I got to put my glasses on, grab my coffee cup and head the hell out honestly, because I need to not only go to the dentist, but I also need to pick up our check from the bank, which we're financing our car through our credit union. So we have to go into bank credit union, whatever. I have to go into the branch and pick up our check to finally pick up our new car today. So I figured it's a fun thing to vlog. And then also the playoff championships for the NFL are this weekend, Chiefs versus Ravens. Come on now, we love the Baltimore Ravens. It would really be like kind of close to home as well for Finley if they won, but also I love the Chiefs, so it'd be cool if they won. And then the 49ers Lions is like, I don't care who wins, but I do love the 49ers. I mean, when they had Jimmy Garoppolo. Anyway, yes, we still have our tree up. Honestly, it's just taking up a lot of wonderful space and I really like it there. <laughs> okay, I really have to leave now. I also might send off my passport for renewal while I'm out. It would be crazy of me. I'm gonna miss driving old Bertha around. The farm truck has kind of been a sleigh. Oh, I need to take this down. I was drying this because we took the dogs on a hike yesterday. You know those days when you wake up with a song stuck in your head and just need to hear it? That's me right now with All Bad by Nick Shoulders. My alternative yodel king. Amongst the cypress and quartz I roam. Let's fucking go, bro. It's Friday. Wanted for nothing with the bad luck streak. I made it to the dentist. I'm actually a little bit early, so I'm gonna go in and just check in and see if I could, you know, finish up early if I go in early. You never know. Just getting some x-rays on my little teeth first. All right, I finished up within like 45 minutes or something like that, nothing too crazy. And I scheduled a follow-up filling appointment because yes, I have cavities. What's it to ya? <laughs> I have one that's like, needing to be filled and it's because of a past filling that I, it's just an old cavity where the filling is like you know deteriorating or something like that which is unfortunate so they were like this is the one that you should get filled at my next cleaning appointment which is in april so i'll be in my third trimester by then but wait i think i'm gonna be out of town i need to go tell them no worries everybody i totally took care of it <laughs> i just rescheduled my appointment to after when i would be going home to virginia for my baby shower because i was like wait <laughs> i'm definitely gonna be out of town during this time that would be a terrible time to schedule all of this and you know just have to call them and then do it again it's like just might as well go in and she was like no worries let's just do it 10 days later give it a little buffer 
Okay, now I'm gonna go to the post office, send off my passport application, and hopefully use their stapler, because you need to staple your little photo onto the form, and I don't have a stapler. Who does? Just kidding, don't answer that. I'm sure a lot of you actually do. Heave! That's me every time I get in this damn vehicle. What a success. I love my post office girlies, okay? Both of the post offices around here that I go to, there is a woman there who looks exactly like me. Both locations have a redhead with bangs who like either wears glasses or just her face just kind of looks like mine. It's so funny. So she was the goat today. Let me borrow her stapler. And I sent off my application to get my name changed on my passport since I got, I forgot to tell you guys, we got our new IDs. Well, they're in the mail to us. So we got Vermont IDs, Vermont registration, and we are getting a new car today. But I have to go pick up that check now and fill up a tank of gas and then go pick up Finley. And then we can go and drive and pick up the car. It's been an eventful morning, kind of boring, but hope you're enjoying. I'm just listening to Nicki Minaj's new album. Well, it's not really that new. Came out last year, but still love it. I got my checks. I also made an appointment at my credit union to come in with my marriage certificate and my new ID and change my name. Okay, I'm back home now and I'm gonna have a little bit of delicious avocado bread. This one has the turmeric sauerkraut on it. I normally put it on at least one of the slices just to help with my digestion, you know. But um, I need to eat this before we go and buy the car because mama's got to eat, mama's hungry, all right. And then we'll go to Keen. I can't believe it's really happening. We finally, it's taken so long to buy this car, like literally two weeks because we had to get like pre-approved for the loan and then send in all this paperwork and then go back to the Toyota of Keen and pick up the paperwork there and then send all of the copies back to get actual approval for the loan. Oh my God. And then we like forgot a document yesterday and had to get that as well sent over. And it's just been so much back and forth. So I finally picked up the checks and I'm ready to purchase our new RAV4. Big day. Wow, so exciting. <laughs> finally, after two weeks, we're buying our car. We're bringing the dogs along with us because we'll have to take two cars home. So like maybe Rue could ride with Finley and Larry could ride with me in the new vehicle or something. <laughs> okay. We're here at the dealership. Show me, Larry! Show me. I'm so excited! I can't wait! Oh, I can't wait! Look at my little doggie! Oh, she wants a round four? I'll buy you anything you want, Rue. Oh, you want a little kitty cat in a castle? Rue, I'll what if the car is actually really for the little baby, too? Would you be okay with that? Oh, Larry, are you excited? You're the one who requested Toyota because they're so reliable. <laughs> That's gonna be our dogs in the car. Oh, I'm so excited. Buying my first third car. This is the best day of my life. Hell yeah. So, show me. Hell yeah. That's more like it, baby. Hell yeah. No, I am really excited. Look so, at these so, so, so sweetie pies. We're in our brand new Toyota RAV4. 2024, baby. XSC. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Calling the fuck out. What's up? We are. This is our first new vehicle purchase together. We've always had used cars and a lot it of feels going on in here. Fucking good. Yeah, there is a lot going on in here. So um, buying a new car, I'm like, I gotta just take care of it. You know, a used car you never know like truly well sometimes unless you know the person, but like you never really know how it was treated. But like if you buy a new car, you know you could if you treat it right the whole fucking life, like that thing should last you a long time. Mm -hmm. So the ball's in our court. Uh, the future's in our hands, and it's up to us to make the best of it. Yeah, and our daughter, so she doesn't soil herself in the back seat. Mrs. Poopy Pants. <laughs> we already have one of those. We don't need another, right, Rue? Um, so we have like this nice red stitching on the inside of the car. Honestly, when we go home, I'll give you a full tour of the vehicle, okay? But right now, I'm rocking with the heated steering wheel. Yeah, 10 and 2. It's only heated in 10 and 2, so you can't move your hands out of that placement, which is honestly very smart on their part. You know, we got the double moon roof, everything, but I just have to set up like my car play to get home and all that kind of good stuff. And Larry's gonna drive home with me. <laughs> yeah, he's a little shaken big and he's gotta get 
get wrapped up in his little blankie. And Rue's gonna drive home with Dad in the truck. Oh, she's showing her snoot in a little pocket. That's nice. That's very delicate. I'm so proud of us. We really did it. All right, y'all. New car. Who dis? It is snow and slush season when I'm filming this. So it's not looking like absolutely pristine and so clean. Because we had to drive on dirt and gravel and <laughs> definitely <laughs> did some, not damage, but, you know, got some slush and dirt and stuff all on the tires and underneath the vehicle over here. But let's just focus on how gorgeous she is, okay? We chose the magnetic gray color. So this side is our plug-in for the EV mode of this car. So I drove the EV home the entire time. It was amazing. And then when the terrain switched into like more gravel roads, because this is an all-wheel drive car, I switched it into trail mode so that it would be able to, you know, keep up with that a little bit more. We got these gorgeous tires on there. Oh, love her. I'll give you the full 360. Here she is from the back. And then on this side is our gas because it's on the driver's side on most Toyotas. You can see it's an all-wheel drive right here. But let's do the interior. That's always the most exciting, huh? Oh, sheesh. Look at her go. So one of my favorite features about this car is that there are JBL speakers throughout it. Look at that bad boy. JBL. They were amazing. I was listening to Kaliuchi's new album, The Whole Way Home, and Larry was loving it. You know, he's my Mexican man. Larry's origin story, for those of you who didn't know, is that he crossed over the border from Mexico with his entire family into California, and then they were all put up for adoption. At least that's what we like to tell people. So he was really enjoying her music, especially the Peso Pluma song. Anyway, back to the tour. Look at this beautiful red stitching in the seats. Love it. Also, with like the premium package that we got, for this XSE model, we got the weather mats. So these will be really good for the clear rain slush mud season. I'll show you with the car on in a second. I just want to give you like a brief overview so you can switch into EV mode really easily and just push this or go into trail mode and then you still have this instead of a dial. I hate cars that have the dial where you have to change from park to reverse and neutral and stuff. It's just so annoying because every car I've ever driven has been like a little manual stick like this, you know? Well, not stick shift, but you know what I mean, like where you have to press it and reverse it. But I just love the interior so much on this car. I think it's gorgeous. And the screen up here is gorgeous. Same with this one, which I'll show you in a second once I turn the car on, but I want to show you the back of the car. This is where the kiddos are going to go and our friends. So this is what you're going to be riding in, riding in style. All right. So we got three seats back here. Obviously the middle one is a smaller seat like in most cars, but we got that little cup holder there, which is always fun. Two charging cables, you know, some nice air going on back here. I'm trying to show you features like they're like fun and new, but like most cars have this, but super cool. Let's pop open this trunk. So we already have some crap back here. Our two to-go Tiffins are in here for when we eat out. <laughs> and Finley just moved those from the truck into there because we just want to have them. But you can see the big old JBL speaker system in here. It's amazing. I'm so stoked about that. And then they gave us these like little tote bags when we were leaving to do some free advertising for them. But honestly, this is just the perfect place to store our car emergency kit. So I think I already went over this in a vlog when we first made it, but these are like hazard triangles that you can set up on the road if you get into a wreck or something. A car fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, our little jump charging cable system. You can charge this thing, like just plugging it into the wall. And then there's jumper cables in there and that will charge your car. We also have like an emergency 36 hour survival candle. And in this little Tupperware right here is some emergency food. I highly, highly recommend making a car emergency kit if you don't already have one. They're pretty easy and cheap to make and just throw in your trunk for if you ever have anything happen. But I really like having this protector as well in the back and then these pop up to the backs of these seats so that if we want to fold the seats down, we can fold this over those as well. And then it also came with like this cargo net right here. And then the yellow stick thing right there is just to get off all the snow. But yeah, that's pretty much the interior. Now I'll pop in here and show you some more of the like electronic kind of features. Let's turn this bad boy on push to start. One of the coolest safety features to me is that you can tell when your kids are unbuckled. 
it shows in the rear. All three seats are not buckled in. All right, Kali, let's just take a break, okay? But this is what the dash screen looks like. And then we have this huge screen up here as well, which I'm just in CarPlay right now, but it looks kind of something like this. And then if you don't have CarPlay set up, it would just look like this, basically, with all of the features and whatnot. But you can do light mode or dark mode on the screen. I prefer the dark, it's nice. And then we have like climate control up here, airbags, a little Qi charger. So if I just set my phone on here, I'll show you. And I don't even have one of those setups on my phone where it's like, oh, lay it on here and it starts charging. But on here I do in the car. Isn't that cool? Like I don't have one of those charging cases I'm trying to say. And then this is a little bit of what I was saying earlier from changing from eco mode into like normal mode, sport mode, trail, all of that kind of stuff. Some big old cup holders in here. I like this kind of fun pattern that they have in here as well. It's kind of the same on like the JBL speaker system in the back, which is cool turn on my eco heat. I didn't even realize that that was an option. Of course I'm going to choose that. Anytime it says eco, I'll press it. And then in here is just our little console. But I have Finley's driving gloves, my regular mittens, the dog sweaters, stuff like that. But there's charging in here, like little, you know, cable ports and stuff. And then what's fun about up here too is you can kind of see it now that the sun's going down and under here, it has like a blue tint to it at night, which is very cool. And then in here, it's just our glove box, which is currently empty because Finley took everything out because he's reading all the manuals right now. He's gonna be having fun with that, you know. Oh, and then I didn't even show you guys this, but this is like automatic high beams. So you can turn that on and then when you pass by people, it'll automatically turn them off because it'll sense another car, which is really cool. You know, classic little window system, mirrors, all that kind of stuff. And then also this is where the heating steering wheel is. And I know earlier I said that it was only at 10 and two, but it's actually this whole section to right here so you can see where it cuts off so it's also at eight and four I guess <laughs> as well and then this is what the steering wheel looks like with like cruise control settings and everything but Finley and I are wondering why in new cars is there no like pause button for the music on here like it's just okay or next song or back song but there's no pause it's really weird like if I was playing music I would have to basically pause it in here on the like actual car play or something on the screen, which I guess is just what they prefer to do in cars, but who knows? Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Other than the rear view mirror, which is super cool. So it's like the regular mirror here. And then I just pull this lever and now it's a camera. Isn't that cool? I love it. So that's helpful for like backup camera. These are all like garage door opener, kind of like universal port things. Hey brother, the only complaint I have is that there's nowhere to put my damn camera where <laughs> I wouldn't be cut off. I mean, I guess I could like move the steering wheel further down so you could see me a little bit better, but that feels too low now. You know what I mean? So it's like when I put you on the dash to talk to you and then I can't put you over here because then the screen blocks you. So it's like, I think I might need to get some sort of a tripod, but it's actually funny that I need a car tripod because on my Christmas list this year, I almost added on a little like car mount camera tripod situation, but I just couldn't find what would work for me, you know? And I'm glad that I didn't ask for that because then the Lexus got tragically totaled in Georgia. So I would have bought it for the Lexus and set it all up and then had to like remove it or whatever. But I'm thinking I might need something on the dash that like mounts itself over here, but that might be kind of annoying. So I don't know. But what's also kind of fun is like I could put you guys here when I'm not using you because you fit in that little shelf and then the passenger also has this big shelf over here as well to store their belongings so pretty cool car I'd say oh Ru really just wants to join you baby what do you want <laughs> you just wanted to hang out because you're a little dachshund who's really needy and loves everybody so much that's nice well I'm gonna wrap up the tour anyway here but I just wanted to say we're so grateful to have this vehicle now it's really nice to just be able to like drive the truck and it still be working we were talking about it today and we've literally had Bertha this truck back here we've had her since either end of 2017 or early 2018 so she's going on like six or seven years you know of use and she's got 200,000 miles 
and she's still trucking and doing great. So it's nice that we're able to like still drive that car around when we need to. And obviously when we're going on more rugged adventures, she's great, but this will just be great for our family, our safety, our daily driver kind of a thing. And that will be more of like our farm truck. But it's just crazy because I know I've said this a lot, but neither of us have ever purchased a new car before. Like our Lexus was a hand-me-down. My Camry that I had in high school was a hand-me-down. And Finley and I both in our like car careers have bought used cars like i bought minty my mint green colored truck when i was in oregon but like that was used and finley also used to drive a cadillac which is so funny like it just makes me think of outcast southern playlistic cadillac music <laughs> anyway this is just like a big feat for us i guess is what i'm trying to say and yeah just thanks for watching because I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this if it wasn't for you. I don't know. I just feel like circumstances would be so different. And obviously like we have a loan that we have to pay off now, which is its own financial thing, but it's made easier with your help. So thanks buddies. <laughs> Appreciate you. I'm going to go in and have some granola and yogurt now because I'm hungry. And my woman with the funny little ear, are you enjoying the seat heater? That is very luxurious for a tiny little lady like you. Yeah, you need to have your dinner as well. Love ya. I enjoy experiencing the power of my body. I allow myself to be vulnerable. I let the waves wash through me as I go deeper into relaxation. This is my current lazy girl dinner. This is before it cooks. I'm not just gonna eat it like this, but I just get some cabot cheddar and cut off a couple of pieces of that bad boy, put it on top of some refried black beans that are just in this. They were canned, but they were put into this Tupperware and then a little flour tortilla. Pop this in the microwave for a minute. Then when it comes out, sprinkle a little more, everything but the elote seasoning blend on there because I'm feeling crazy. A handful of spinach, roll that bad boy up. So easy. And at this point, yeah, this is cheaper and healthier than Taco Bell. I also already took my prenatal today, but I didn't have my Vectomega lysine or my seed probiotic, so I'm gonna have those. You like the smell of the fish oil, huh, Rue? <laughs> hey y'all, sorry for all the noises. <laughs> I'm right next to the wood stove and I'm on my treadmill desk, but I just wanted to update you because I've been feeling a lot of feelings since we got home from the car dealership and I did like the car tour and stuff. Good feelings of gratefulness, but also bad feelings of pain. So I haven't really been having any headaches as of recent, like later into my second trimester. But for some reason I had kind of an off and on one today. And I think maybe I just like drank too much caffeine or maybe it was just like an off day. I don't know. <laughs> and so I had one pretty bad when we got home from the dealership. So I was just trying to eat. And I honestly think it was just probably like malnutrition or something because I, as soon as I had the yogurt was like feeling a lot better with granola and blueberries and deliciousness. And it went away like right when I ate. And then I waited a little bit longer and it kind of came back. So I was like searching through my toolbox and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do two meditations. One meditation I've been doing every single day for the past almost 21 days. I think I'm on day 19 right now of this challenge. I'm doing like the dragon challenge with um, Finley's cousin, Charlie, and he's been like hosting it. And I know some of you are actually doing it along with me. I had like posted about this on Instagram, but it's basically just like a 21 day habit challenge where you pick one thing to do every single day. And my habit was reading and meditating every day. And so, yeah, I've been doing the same meditation every day, which I've linked, I think in my last video, but I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. And then because after I did that meditation, my headache was still kind of lingering. Then I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just do some like pregnancy stretches. So I did that while I listened to a hypnobirthing meditation. And then after that, I was like, damn, I think I'm just hungry still. So then I had that burrito and honestly that helped so much. I also used my little like 
massage neck pillow thing. Well, it's not just for your neck, but I used it on my neck and it helps a lot. And now I'm gonna walk for 30 minutes on the treadmill. And this is actually a new challenge of mine that I have started. <laughs> I was inspired by my friend Ashley, AKA Third Eye Lens. She's on TikTok, she's a photographer. But Ashley, like a couple days ago, started posting about doing a 30 minutes for 30 days walk challenge and she was doing it to regulate her PCOS symptoms and I was like oh my god <laughs> same girl I have that as well and also this would be fun to join in on so I just decided I would join in on it and I'm on day three so I did treadmill hike treadmill and the treadmill is really easy honestly for 30 minutes because I can just set this bad boy to two miles an hour watch the time on my little remote. I have the Urevo walking pad and it's great. So love her. And I'm also just gonna be like editing a little bit of this vlog, I think while I'm on here. But I just wanted to update you about what I've been doing. And I played a little Animal Crossing as well <laughs> after I had my burrito. And then I was like, okay, after I have the Animal Crossing moment, I'm going to get on the treadmill. I've honestly been thriving a lot with like structure at the moment and routines and challenges and just like holding myself accountable in that way and I have like a new little daily planner and I finally got my 2024 wall calendar as well so I'm just feeling like a lot more organized in this era of life even more so than my first vlog of the year where I was like getting back into my new routines now I feel like the routines have kind of helped a lot and are sticking actually which is really the number one thing is that you want them to do is just like stick and make you feel healthier and happier and I've been feeling really good. So that's why I was shocked and taken aback when I had a headache today. I was like, I gotta go to my toolbox, honey. What's in here? I'm gonna do all of it. <laughs> so yeah, I also probably just need to like drink more water and I don't know, kick my feet up after this, but get my walk in, gonna do my editing and I'll catch you on the flippity flip. The next day. Morning glory, y'all. I already put a protein shake in my coffee, but this says that you can mix it into coffee as well. The cacao turmeric from Goldie. And normally I just drink it on its own, but I'm gonna mix it into my protein coffee today. See how it tastes. Terrific. Let's see if she tastes terrific as well. Mm, I like that a lot. The turmeric, it almost adds like a little chai taste to it. Love it. Hey girl, hey, this is my outfit of the day to hike around our property. We're gonna go on a little walk today because I wrongly thought that the Chiefs game was today on Saturday. And so all week I've been planning for like an allotted, you know, three and a half hour time period where that might be happening. And both games are on Sunday, who knew? So I instead was like, well, we haven't really walked around the property in the winter much, mostly because we don't really have like a trail system set up here. And so a lot of the down trees and things make it a little spooky when you're walking around, but we're gonna put on our little hiking boots and our micro spikes, our Cthulhu micro spikes, which make it so like we can grip into the ice and not fall and stuff. Cause it is a little like wet back there and marshy cause we have some ponds. Anyway, I have these pants on from Indigo Luna. I'm wearing my underlayers from Half Days. They're my like forest green merino wool underlayers. Baby's bumping. And I'm wearing this little like thrifted top. And then I just put my hair up in a little like ivory clip back here. I actually, for the first time in a very long time, tried to put my hair up into like a high ponytail. And it just, I had it in for maybe 30 seconds and it gave me a headache. So I really just need the support of a clip and a bun, a low bun situation. Anyway, that's what we're rocking with today. And I got my darn tough socks on, you already know. Well, 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 would you look who it is? Two fed hogs. Hi. I love you. I know. Well, we're gonna go on a walk. Peach, you're taking the long way. They like hanging out under this tree a lot, so we're gonna feed them so they hang out here while we go on the walk. That's nice. Looking pretty cool there, Spikey. <laughs> okay, everybody. We're taking the little gully way this way, but then we're actually gonna veer a left where, kind of where you are, Larry. Well, we're not going all the way down that way. We're actually gonna go towards the ponds, be sure. 
Well, I did tell him he could go wherever he wanted. Now he's taking advantage. That's actually the neighbor's house, so we're not going to go over there. I love this rock face over here. It's my favorite. Looks awesome in the winter. Okay, dogs, let's go up this way. Larry, wrong way. <laughs> Larry, he listened to my directions too much. <laughs> Larry, can you even believe that this is all yours just to explore and play on? That is a lot of fun. Whoa. What do you think all this is? Termites? Woodpeckers. I actually probably shouldn't stand under this. It's looking a little precarious. I think what it is, is that there was termites or, you know, some wood boring insect in the wood and then a woodpecker came and pecked them out, trying to eat them. The so mushrooms are crazy on this thing. Look at these pieces of wood. see evidence of wood boring insects but these chips are way too big um, so if it was already like partially rotted wood it would come out in big chucks like that probably if some kind of pecking bird was hitting it wow Larry come check out the scene he's just having a lot of fun exploring they on his own. Mushrooms, right? yeah they are really fluffy and they look really crazy on that tree we should have brought our mushroom book. I see it, dogs. The snow pond. Whoa, it's really muddy here. This looks awesome. It's really melty, so definitely can't figure skate on there. Oh, it's still frozen. Pretty good. Wow. Well, at the center, it's much less, I mean, it's completely unfrozen at the edges. Yeah. So yeah, when you're getting on a frozen body of water like this, it's what you gotta be most careful for. I forget how thick it's supposed to be. I think like a couple inches or something like that. And you're, like theoretically, you can like drill in and measure how deep, how thick it is. Yeah. But yeah, these edges always melt way faster. And so you might, and it, there, like, you know, right here, you can see it's like pretty well frozen right here probably. So you could like get on here, especially on a bigger pond, thinking it was like fine and then not be paying attention and get too close to like a different edge. And if it was kind of like Yikes. on the edge of safe, like you could break in there. And same with streams, like running water, it can be really deceiving, like where is frozen and where isn't. And that's what I've fallen into is like frozen streams and stuff where it's been fine for like 90% of it, but there's still thin and fragile points. Were you okay? Yeah, I was fine. Did somebody come help you, fish you out? Yeah, I wasn't alone, so that's why I was fine. If I was alone, it would have been a scarier situation. Hi, girls. Thanks for staying. You've kind of made a mess of your food, flipping out all your pellets you don't like. I know, Peach. Well, we went on a pleasant little walkabout for about 30, 40 minutes or so, and it was quite hard, honestly. Very strenuous because we had to really dig our feet in and get them out when <laughs> the spikes would go into the ice, and you gotta rip them back out, but it was fine. The Cthulhu spikes are really, really helpful, especially because, so a lot of our back property around where like the pond and kind of stream areas are, they're just so marshy right now with snow runoff because it's 40 out today. Hence why I'm just in this and not like a scarf and earmuffs and gloves and like, you know, the whole nine yards. So it was definitely really nice and beautiful to walk outside today. But yeah, a lot of the water is just kind of pooling and turning a little bit to ice and slush and that's just a little bit hard to walk in so it was uh, muy difícil but uh very fun as well and it was nice just to see back there in the winter because we haven't gone back that far in a while and the dogs really had a good time and then when I came inside I was just like having a weird feeling that <laughs> I had caught a mouse. I have four traps set up in various kitchen cabinets right now, and only one of the kitchen cabinets, not where we store any like, you know, utensils or plates or bowls or anything like that, but more where we store like sealed bulk stuff. There's definitely some kind of a hole in the wall there where mice are getting in. And I have caught, this is I think my third or fourth, in the past week in that cabinet. So we just have to find their entry point. I have no idea where they're getting in from and they're not even eating anything in there. That's the thing is like, they're just walking right into the trap and there's no trace of them like eating stuff. So I'm like, what the hell is even bringing them in here and where are they coming from? But I have another little friend here. I don't want to scare him. He's really scared. He's really soiled himself a lot. It's 
sad. So I'm just gonna put him in a secure place in the car and drive him a couple miles away to release him because mice apparently have like an over two mile radius where they can remember where they were and return to your house. So I've been trying to release the mice farther away than that. And yeah, I have humane traps and I like these ones. They're just like catch and release, but it does require a little field trip. So I'm back in the truck because I might take some like, you know, back roads. And I'm still in that phase of <laughs> owning the new car where I'm like, I don't want to scratch it or even get like a gravel mark on it. <laughs> even though that will definitely happen. All right, Mr. Mouse, let's go. I'm gonna release this little guy here because it's miles away from houses and stuff like that. And there's a stream nearby that you can find, little buddy. You're gonna wanna keep going, yeah. Okay, see you. Hello folks and welcome to my cooking show. I'm going to be making a little quiche today and I'm defrosting my pie crusts. I think I'm just gonna start with the one since there's two crusts in here. I got the Maple Lane Bakery ones. I was showing these actually in my last vlog when I did like a whole grocery haul, but I never made the quiches that I like bought a bunch of ingredients for. So I'm going to be making one today, just like a classic caramelized leek one, but really exciting stuff. I bought this for myself because it was on my Christmas list and I didn't get it. And it's a little immersion hand blender. I got six eggs up in here, y'all. You know, I'm actually gonna add in And if he likes it, then <laughs> no harm done. Listen, I myself am scared of it, but my friend Audra told me that she always puts it in her quiches. So she told me half a tub. <laughs> well, she's not chunky monkey, so this actually might be good. My father-in-law sent me a quiche recipe, but it, he just uses different ingredients than me because he eats meat and stuff. But I got some Gruyere because he suggested that this is one of the best cheeses to put in there or some Emmentaler, I believe he said was the second one. Mostly like Switzerland based cheeses, but I'm gonna grate a shit ton of this Put it in here. I forgot to say there's already six eggs in here and then half a tub of the cottage cheese. And honestly, the cottage cheese I'm using instead of heavy cream. I just have milk right now and it definitely like thickened it up significantly. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375. I had already sauteed the leeks. So I'm gonna put those into my crust. Just a nice fine layer. Some of the ingredients that my father-in-law uses are like spinach or chard, but Finley doesn't really want spinach in it, I know. So because we're sharing this one, I'm just gonna keep it to the leeks because he okayed the leeks. <laughs> but he doesn't want char or anything like that either. He's fine with cheese, he's fine with eggs, and he's fine with like a little onion-y moment, which the leeks are. But once we get too much into the thick greenery, that's more of a meat dish, okay? His picky ass is like, I don't know about all these grains. <laughs> also, even though we like looking at and foraging for mushrooms, we don't really cook with them very often, but his dad said that he normally puts mushrooms um, or like shallots or something if he's not using leeks into here. So basically you just have your pie crust, you saute up some leeks or shallots or mushrooms, and then at the end you wilt in the greens, season it with a little salt and pep. I did not do that, so I'm going to season it in here. Little pep, little salt, and then shred a handful of Emmentaler or Gruyere and spread it on top of the greens. Woo! This looks beautiful so far. Just gonna change angles there for you. I'm honestly obsessed with our new range. The stovetop is incredible and cooks so well, but the oven is really top tier. I'm obsessed with the oven. It preheats so fast. It also makes like fun little noises <laughs> instead of just like beeping. It'll make like little sing-songy noises, which is fun. And I'm just getting back into, you know, the joy of cooking again. And it has been very fun. You guys saw lots of recipes in my last vlog, so I wanted to include some in here too. This one's super simple and you can like, just really get crazy with it. Do whatever you want, make your own adjustments and amendments. We're just gonna pour in this egg and cheese mixture on top. 
Dang it, I forgot to put in salt, pepper, and nutmeg. Why do I keep forgetting to season my damn food today? I think it's because I'm only roughly following this recipe. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Little pep, little salt. I love my Redmond's real salt. And then a little touch of nutmeg. Gorge. Let's just kind of even her out again. Make sure those seasonings are kind of well mixed. And then whenever this preheats, which should be in the next like five or 10 minutes, it's already at 300 degrees. It just needs to get up to 375. I'm going to put it in for about 35 minutes, the recipe says, until the filling has puffed up and is quite brown on the top. If you jiggle the quiches, they should not jiggle. That's the pro tip from Chris. See, that's kind of the jingle that it likes to do when it preheats. And it hasn't even been five to 10 minutes. Like I said, it's been maybe three minutes, maybe. All right, let's put this bad boy in. All right, we've got like 10 minutes left. Let's turn on the light, see how she's doing in there. Oh, that's looking nice. Yeah, that's looking real nice. I like what I see, I like what I see. I feel like 10 more minutes and we'll start to get that little crispy poo pie top. Right, Rue? No, you're the one who needs to vacuum the floor, not me. All right, it's time for the jiggle test. Oh my God, it looks gorgeous. Looks just like my father-in-law's. And Chris makes a famous quiche, I'll tell you that much. Come to mama. Coax it out of there. When you shake it, it should not jiggle. No jiggling happening here. Oh, fuck yes, I'm so excited. I'm gonna send him a photo. One of my favorite things about this range too is when you use the oven, this little fan disperses all of the hot air afterwards out of the oven. So it doesn't just like stay up in there. And it's great because heat is expensive. <laughs> I'm gonna photograph this, cut it and serve it up. Oh my God, <laughs> it looks very blue in the lighting, but let's do a taste test. Mmm, mmm, terrific. Highly recommend. The good thing about having pigs is if you don't like things, you can just give them to them. So I'm giving them a bunch of crackers that we didn't want to eat that are like, if you can see the liquid at the bottom, I put in the remainders of the bottle of mango juice that I have as well to kind of like soak into the crackers. And then I'm gonna feed it to them like a little mush. They're gonna love it. <laughs> you can barely see them in the dark, but you can certainly hear them. Wow, girls, isn't that terrific? Some mushy crackers and mango juice. That is just amazing. Okay, that's your late night snack. See you in the morning. It's not actually that late. It's literally like just sunset. <laughs> Probably five something. One frozen wasteland later. In the words of Finley when we woke up this morning, hey, who turned the snow back on? Honestly, it's good that we went for our walk yesterday because it seems to be a winter storm of brewing. So, it's gonna snow for a while, but I see the pigs are awake in their little house over there, but they're not coming out of the house. They're just staying in the metal shed, <laughs> just watching the snow, but Finley's gonna go out and do their morning feed. My morning routine ever since, well, I would say this wasn't happening when I was on vacation after Vlogmas, but really ever since Vlogmas ended and like my mornings were opened up again for not just like, oh, did I get that video up? Let me do the thumbnail, like, you know, all those things. And now that I'm like habit forming again, not just with coffee, but also with the reading. This is what my little morning routine looks like. Also, this is what my bedside table looks like right now. Prenatal, a little pain relief lotion, magnesium so I can go to sleep. Side note about sleep, I have been sleeping so well recently, like for just 10 hours straight. Or if I wake up and kind of toss and turn in the night and like switch sides, which I know that I do do that because I normally track my sleep on my Apple Watch. I don't like wake up for very long. And I think in my last vlog, I was saying how I was waking up like at least two times to pee in the night and that it would only get worse from there. And I'm only in my second trimester, but I haven't even been experiencing that either. So I think maybe that week, baby was just on my bladder. And so she was just making me pee more, but I only woke up one time last night to go to the bathroom and it's honestly not because of number one. I maybe share too much on the internet. You know, there's moments like that where I'm just like, why did I say that? But no, for real, yesterday I was having some tummy 
problems and I think it's because I didn't follow my like normal what I eat in a day routine. I was out of baby pouches, I didn't have avocado bread, I had that quiche that had a lot of dairy in it and not a lot else other than that and I just got a violent stomach ache so the quiche was really good and I'm planning to have more of it but it definitely made my stomach hurt. Anyway, back to my morning routine. I'm almost done with this book. I'm very very close as you can see. I've been underlining stuff and learning a lot honestly about like the history of childbirth and every morning I fill up a big ol' jug of <laughs> coffee probably like halfway full with coffee and then halfway full with protein shake terrific and i normally try to read like at least 10 pages or a full chapter or something and then i go over to my planner at my desk i'll just take you through my little activities today it's sunday so it's not like i'm getting crazy stuff done because it's a freaking weekend and the chiefs game finally but i will just show you like those things because new planners are fun that's a nice update in my life so this is my cute new planner love her work it's from bright day company and I feel like it's a good size, you know? Here's my hand for reference. It has both 2024 and 2025 at like a glance. And then all of the holidays listed. And then a more intensive like schedule, like in every 30 minute schedule, if you're using this for, I don't know, something where you might need that. I haven't been keeping up with this habit tracker because I have to like go back to it, but there's a favorite quote page a goals for this year page, a monthly check-in, which is always nice, a like month at a glance. And I didn't even have this planner until like the third week or something of January, so I left these blank. I did fill out my habit tracker though for those dates, but this is really what it looks like on the day to day. So I've mostly been loving it for like a little to-do list every day because I don't really plan my schedule like out every single day. I just have tasks that I like to get accomplished, but I could always do that if I really wanted to, you know? And then there's also like notes at the bottom. And then another monthly check-in over here before you get into the next month at a glance for February. So I'm really liking it so far and it was pretty cheap. I think it was like $10 or less. So, slay. It's brunch time, brother. Yeah. Hey, Tippy Tom. You look funny, Larry. A little quiche and an amazing game. And away we go, Ru. Well, <laughs> Hey, folks, it's halftime here, folks. So, Chiefs are doing pretty good. Not a shocker. Waiting for the Ravens to come back. It's been a pretty good game. I'm fine if either of these teams go to the Super Bowl. Honestly, it would be a nice and fun switch up to see the Ravens in the Super Bowl, but obviously I also love the Chiefs. I never unpacked my suitcase from when we went out of town for like two and a half weeks for the holidays. So I put that on my to-do list yesterday and then I never finished that task. So I just figured whatever I didn't get done yesterday, I'd get done today. And Ruth, that's not really a toy. Yeah. Well, that's not what are you doing? This is not really a toy. This is your fun little fun time toy. This is Bob Evers. Yeah. This is Crocodilly. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's the start of the fourth quarter and I was waiting to come into the kitchen to make us a little game snack until I knew that it's probably just going to be a Chiefs win because I really thought that the Baltimore Ravens would come back, but there was like a taunting incident with Zay Flowers, which was just so stupid. I kind of realized that it's probably not going to be a Baltimore win unless some Hail Mary happens. So I'm making us a quesadilla. I have my refried black beans that I spread on there and I buttered the quesadilla and then I cut up some cabbage cheddar. I'm just waiting for a little bit more of this cheese to melt because I didn't have shredded cheese and you know that can be a little bit difficult sometimes. This is literally so thick it's like a cheese stick over here. But yeah I just like really buttered it, put on a big flour tortilla on there spread the beans out to the edge as much as I could. And I'm gonna season it with, oh shit, everything but the elote. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put the other tortilla on as well. I just can't stop thinking about Zay Flowers on that taunting play. I'm like, why did you have to do that? He was just feeling the energy. His 
big dick energy. He literally flipped the guy over after the play, like pushed his shoulder over and like punted the ball in his face. It's just like, why did you need to do that when you know that you're gonna lose yardage and this could cost you, you know, your chance at a Super Bowl? It is just so dumb. But obviously he wasn't thinking about that. <sighs> not my monkey, not my circus, you know what I mean? Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> pressing a tortilla literally just directly into a hot pan but i'm just trying to seal off the edges here <laughs> Ooh, yeah that's why you don't want to do that literally just burn myself she ready for a flippy yeah she's ready for a chippy little flippy oh you know what i forgot to do before i flipped that actually was put more butter on the other side there we go i'm gonna lower this a little bit so it doesn't burn let this other side toast up and put the salsa in a little bowl that we'll have with this. And I'll grab some chips too. All right, I got my quesadilla on my little serving platter. I love this thing. I forget where we got this. I think it was at like an antique market where they had, you know, newer stuff there too. It's very nice. It has like these blue inlays. Our kitchen utensil drawer is insane. Also, I have this in here to deter mice because they don't like coffee beans. And we don't really rattle that around too much anyways, but I am looking for my pizza cutter. Where would she be? Oh, under here. This is the only drawer in our entire kitchen. So that's why it's so shoved with stuff. <laughs> I've been thinking today about what I'm gonna make for the Super Bowl and making kind of a list. I know I'm gonna make cheesy pesto bread twists, but I don't know what else to make. If you guys are already thinking about Super Bowl snacks that you're making, if you do make them, I know not all of you care about, you know, football or the Super Bowl or whatever, but I'd be curious to hear what you're making. So please share. I'm gonna bring out the red hot blues in case we, you know, go through a lot of this and still need some stuff to dip in. Oh God, I don't know if I cut that well enough. I'm gonna rip all these apart. I know, Rue, I feel bad for the Ravens too, but I'm also happy for the Chiefs. What do they say, his 25th, Andy Reid's 25th championship win? 25th playoff win. 25th playoff win. Incredible work. Chiefs back in the Super Bowl, baby. And a chance to become the first Aww. team since... It's so sad when they show the players with the towels over their heads crying. Cheers. With my spearmint tea. He's a phenomenal football coach. The city's lucky to have him. Hey, folks. I'm just walking, getting my 30 minutes in. You know me. Yeah, I ain't got no pants on. What about it? <laughs> just kidding. I'm wearing boxers, but I just imported this footage. I'm gonna do a little bit of editing while I walk. Well, I'm about to talk to Lindsay in a little bit, so I'm trying to get most of this walk done before I have to talk to her because I just don't wanna like, you know, distract her too much while we're on the call. I don't think she would really care if I was like walking while we were on FaceTime, but I think it would be slightly distracting. So I'm just trying to get most of it done before we talk because she's eating dinner right now. We already had our little quesadilla moment, which was terrific and delicious. And I'll definitely make that again. Maybe I'll make it during the Super Bowl. But yeah, man, the 49ers won. So they're gonna be playing the Chiefs again in the Super Bowl, which has already happened in the past and the Chiefs won. So I'm rooting for that again this year. But um, yeah, it was really sad to watch the Detroit Lions lose, especially under Dan Campbell and them just being underdogs for so long. <laughs> I don't mean to be talking about football so much in this vlog, but I'm just sorry to the Lions fans who are watching this because it really would have been historic and cool to see you guys win. Maybe next year, I have hope. Anyway, I also brought my weights next to me, so I might just do a little bit of weight lift and get some arm exercises in. I feel like I've been doing so much like cardio as of recent and stretching and stuff and yoga, but I haven't really been doing much pumping my arms. And when this baby comes, I mean, you know, maybe she'll be like eight pounds or something like that, but then she'll get bigger and I'll need to be stronger. So I'll do a little bit of weight lifting on here too. Tomorrow for sure. This is my outfit to go get our cars inspected for the state. Woo! Snow boots. We got like six more inches of snow yesterday and I just took a shower and blow dried my bangs and such. And now I'm gonna take the truck. Finley's gonna take the RAV4 and we're gonna go and get what we need done. Sam shrugged. Though he kept his eyes on the waves, she could have sworn a blush darkened his cheeks. Hi, good afternoon. You've just been taking a little nap. I'm gonna give you a little feed. Oh my God, this is what I'm saying. We got another like six inches. You hogs are like two big snow plows. Hi. 
That's terrific, girls. That is just terrific. <laughs> You're enjoying just kind of hibernating in your house today. That's nice. A little more snow ASMR for you today. Oh, shit. Oh my god, my pants. These were not good pants to wear in these conditions. I'm really sick. <laughs> I'm really sinking in. But the snow's really light and fluffy and gorgeous. So I don't even really mind. I just parked our new car inside of our garage for the first time, which is just incredible. And Finley installed our snow tires that were on the Lexus. He took them off before we went on our road trip for the holidays. And I'm so happy he did because then the car got totaled. Anyway, he installed them onto the RAV4 today, and it is just helping so much. They're just eating the snow. So I just pulled it into the garage, and Finley actually accidentally left the garage door open the entire time that we were gone getting that inspection done. We couldn't actually get an inspection done on the RAV4 because it has temporary New Hampshire plates and we were at a Vermont inspection site and they were like, we can't give you like an inspection sticker for New Hampshire plates. Like you have to wait until your Vermont license plates come in and then you can bring it here for an inspection sticker and like it'll pass, it's a new car. But Finley's truck wasn't able to get the inspection sticker yet today, which we were getting really nervous about. We were like, oh no, what's wrong with the car? You know, like, cause they check for like safety and then also for like emissions. And Finley's honestly done a ton of the work on that car himself. So he was like, oh God, they're gonna like judge my work. Oh no. But the guy was like, the only two things that you need to pass inspection are a license plate light. Like you can just get that from from any you know automobile store and then put on some reverse lights because we have like blinkers and tail lights and stuff but we need like lights that light up when you reverse and he said to get ones for a tractor because they're cheaper than automobile lights which i don't even know but he was like that's what i would do and we can do the work for you if you want to wait for the parts and stuff or you could just do it yourself and finley was like i am going to do it myself <laughs> so yeah that was nice we love our mechanic he's great and we just went to the country store and killed some time while we were waiting and i got a delicious caprese sandwich and a strawberry lemon poppy so that was really nice and i need to call my mom because i just hung up on her because i was like oh no finley accidentally left the garage open and the last time that he accidentally did this the pigs broke into the garage and like knocked a ton of stuff over so i was really nervous that that happened but they were just asleep in their house being angels so thank god but i have to close this garage door get all my shit out of the car and then call my mom happy monday february is gonna be my sixth month of pregnancy and then March, April, May. Those are my last three. Okay. It's a little confusing. I was thinking about this because I was like, you know how some people get annoyed where they're like, oh, just tell me like how old your baby is. Just say that she's, you know, a year and a half. Don't tell me that she's 18 months or something. But I think it's like, you just get so used to thinking about time in periods of months or weeks right. that it's like, it just becomes so far removed from like the scope of a year that you're not even thinking about that. I just talked to my mom for a little bit and now I'm having my blueberry acai kefir. I realized it's pronounced not kefir, not that damn kefir. And then I'm also gonna have my supplements. I also put two tablespoons of chia seeds into this, I forgot to say. I'm gonna do my monthly reflection because we're in the last few days of January and then I'll start my February planning. I'm so tired, it's literally 8 p.m. and I just accidentally fell asleep while editing this vlog in my bed and that's why I don't like editing in bed because I can just fall right asleep. So I'm gonna hop on the treadmill and do my 30 minutes, okay? Even though I don't want to. That's the meaning of a challenge is that you do it even when you don't want to. <laughs> I also know it'll wake me up. It's been a really chill day. I've just been working on our baby registry and I also ordered all of our baby shower invitations and my mother-in-law is the one who's hosting it and my sister and my mom are also helping to like plan it and do like activity ideas with her and like get everything kind of sorted but i just told them like i really don't mind ordering and sending out the invitations because like i already have 
all the addresses like for our Christmas card list for people who we're gonna invite and we're doing a co-ed shower so me and Finley which is very exciting it's gonna be Jack and Jill honey <laughs> that's apparently what they're called my dad said but Jack and Jill showers boys and girls so I don't know it could end up being a little big because we're inviting like a lot of couples but also I feel like a lot of people are just gonna kind of be like oh sorry like I can't make it I don't know for some reason I just always think that like I always think that people will be like oh yeah sorry thanks for the invite but I won't be there you know um but we'll see I could be pleasantly surprised I know like our friends will come but I'm talking about like out of town family or something like that because you're not even really supposed to travel for a baby shower like normally it's just like your close people around but I don't have close people around in Vermont so that's why we're doing it in Virginia <laughs> because my mom threw my bridal shower for me in Georgia. And so then I discussed with her, I was like, well, if I do a baby shower with Finley, I think it would be fun to have it one closer to us and to have his mom be able to throw it like for the both of us, you know, so they both get to do a little shower moment, especially because my mom's coming to my birth, but my mother-in-law is not. So it's a fun way just to, you know, get everybody involved. Anyway, tangent over, gonna hop on the treadmill. I'm feeling more energetic now. Yeah, honey, I could do this all day. Whew. I need to do my fucking laundry, okay? But I could do this all day. 30 days, I could do this all day. The next morning. Hey y'all, it's the next day and I'm going on a friend date. I'm going to meet a new friend. I'm not going to talk too much about her, but her name's Jen. She messaged me months ago asking for a realtor recommendation. And she hit me up and was just like, hey, like we ended up buying that house and I would love to meet up. I have exactly zero friends in the area. And I was like, wow, relatable queen. So we're going to go get coffee and go antiquing. And then I'm also going to run like a shit ton of errands today. Honestly, it's kind of a sleigh now that Finley <laughs> relocated the steering wheel to vlog here especially in the garage with this fluorescent light on me like come on lighting I'm wearing these fun little rainbow clay earrings today and I actually have a handful of things to do today on top of meeting Jen first I'm going to an appointment at my credit union to change my name with my like marriage certificate and stuff and my new ID and then I'm gonna go meet her and we're gonna have our little fun day and I need to like look for a gift for a friend's birthday and I also need to get groceries and pig food and like a handful of other things. I also want to try to antique a rocker chair for our like nursery bedroom situation. I just want to have a rocker to breastfeed in and I don't want to like buy a new one. I want to like try to find a cute antique one. So that's what I'm looking for today. I probably won't vlog with Jen by the way. So I just wanted to update you on life but i'm gonna bring my camera either way just to like have and update you on things well 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 i got some time to kill brother because i finished up at my appointment at like 1 30 and i don't have to meet jen until two so i'm just chilling in cedar rapids but i wanted to continue this vlog you know like past the weekend i thought it was just gonna be a weekend in my life then i was like i don't know we were just like watching football and like making food and stuff and i'm glad i've been able to show you guys some fun little recipes but i just want to show you a little bit more you know but i wanted to say that my next video that's going up after this one is going to be like a deep clean with me organizational moment and i might today need to go and get some things for that video like some bins or some lazy susans or something like that to organize in my last vlog i was talking about how i wanted my january project to be just redoing and like making sense of and unpacking and reorganizing the kitchen right but i actually have something that i want to do before that project which is deep cleaning and reorganizing my bathroom because I have resented the bathroom for so long and even though when we first moved in I made a whole video you know like unpacking cleaning and organizing the bathroom and I probably said the same thing around <laughs> the same time you know like I hate this bathroom I want to make it cute or whatever but it just doesn't make any sense like the way that I organized things I pretty much just like piled them and pushed them back onto the shelves and I can never find anything and also there's so much wasted space in there because there's so much crap on the shelves that's not in like little bins or lazy susans or whatever so i need to get some yeah organizational tools and my sister literally back in october when i was like feeling so sick 
from my first trimester. She sent me all of these links being like, you know, here you go if you want like a little project or something to do. And I was like, totally. And then I never got anything. Also because we don't have a Target here in Vermont, I have to drive across state lines <laughs> to New Hampshire to go to Target and try to find some stuff there. But I am going to try to look for like some stuff while antiquing today just to see if maybe, you know, I could get like a Lazy Susan while I'm out because then it would just be like one, less expensive, two, probably more attractive. But I'm not like betting on that happening. <laughs> um, also like clear plastic bins aren't really antiques. <laughs> so if I want to be able to like see through them, I'll probably just have to go to Target. So that might be on the horizon for me today. And I'm really excited about just getting that project done because also a huge motivator for doing that closet reorganization in the bathroom is to use at least half of it as a linen closet because right now my linens are just like in a giant box and I just don't want that to be the case anymore. And so that's my spiel on there, but you'll probably hear a similar spiel in the next video. Anyway, <laughs> I brought my mail into the car though, so I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you. I got a little PR something something from Parade. I already know what it is because I picked it out, but they just did a Betsy Johnson collab and I ordered two things. One is this pair of their free boxers. So I have a medium in these, but now that I'm getting bigger and my bum's getting bigger, I love wearing these like cozy little boxers and they have this little rose floral pattern on them. So I ordered a large as well, but the mediums are pretty good too. But I just mean, you know, for my growing bump, it might be necessary to do a little sizing up. And then to match with that bad boy, I really hope this fits. <laughs> I got a 2X in their little rose bralette. Maybe it's not a 2X, it's an S2. They have kind of like different sizing depending on the style of the garment. So I normally get a one plus in all of their stuff that I order. But now that my body's like growing and changing and my boobs are ginormous I think I need like a two plus so I was looking for that on the size chart but it was like s2 instead so I hope that <laughs> that's the right size I did look at the size chart and thought that that would be you know similar to what I needed and I remeasured my breasticles and everything <laughs> anyway I'll head over to the old coffee shop soon we're going to Mocha Joe's honey and I actually have never been to Mocha Joe's before but it's like our popular local coffee shop chain and actually is it a chain it might just be in Brattleboro. Either way, excited to go, but I already had my coffee today. So I might get like a hot chocolate or maybe some sort of, you know, decaf moment. <laughs> you never know. Three hours later. Well, folks, my friend date was so cute. We were just commiserating about how, you know, like meeting a new friend when you're, you know, in a new place and stuff like that. It does feel like a first date, like so nervy, but I wasn't actually nervous. It was good to hang out with her. And we were just, we have a lot in common with like renovations and stuff like that. She's renovating a farmhouse. So it was nice to just like hear all of her tales and stories and talk about, you know, the real estate market and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I was really happy to meet her. So new friend alert. I got a hot chocolate, not a coffee at the coffee shop and it was terrific. And we talked there for a really long time. And then I was like, do you want to get shopping? And we went to, uh, what was that place called? Once Upon a Time. I've actually, I don't think I've ever been there, but I got this basket for my bathroom organization, but I still need to get more stuff, specifically Lazy Susans. So I'm just going to go to Target. And she, when I was leaving, she was like, have fun at Target because she knows, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a drive. It's a half hour from here, but it'll be fun and it'll be fine. Let's go to Target. And Selena, watching it from behind her mask, could not stop laughing. All right, I'm at the beautiful and gorgeous Target in Keene, New Hampshire. And there's actually a lot of stuff around here that I I've never even seen this area before. Not only is there a Target, there's also a CVS, a Bed Bath & Beyond, an Ulta, a Home Depot, a Michaels. I mean, this is just the strip mall central. But I wanted to say driving here, I was like, oh my God, as soon as I get into Target, I need to look for travel sized Tylenol because honey, I have a headache. And it's been so weird because I just haven't really been getting them. Maybe it's just because I'm like not at home. It's not even, it doesn't feel like a stress headache because I'm not stressed, you know, I'm living it up. So I don't entirely understand why this is happening, 
but I did wake up with this kind of weird feeling in my head and I was like, oh, it'll go away. So I'm just trying to like chug a bunch of water and maybe when I'm in there, I'll get like a banana or something like that and try to find some travel size Tylenol. But I am just gonna look for organizational bins here and maybe even some bigger bins as well. Cause I told Finley we need that not only for like the baby stuff, just to keep it kind of like organized and dust free until we can get it like washed and put into like little cabinets or you know a dresser for her clothes or something we do have some bins in the basement but most of them are occupado and then other ones are missing lids so i think just getting like three or something organizational bins like bigger ones would be a good idea too and i'm trying to think of anything else that i might need while i'm here but i'm pretty sure on the way home i'm just gonna go get groceries and stuff oh also i forgot to show you but i went to the farm store and i got a bunch of pig feed and a bale of hay back there and i'm so grateful that we have those like mud mats down because otherwise the hay would just get all up in the carpet if there was carpet back there so it was definitely a good move but uh, I am having one of those headaches where like the light is just hurting me. The screen, everything is burning. So I need to go find Tylenol immediately. This is what I'm working with. Some little sectioned off organizers, a bunch of Lazy Susans, four here, three here. This is just a smaller one. And then the bottom ones are bigger. And then also this. And I'm gonna go look for bigger bins now. I found the jackpot. Even more, even more things. Oh my god. I think I'm only gonna get two big bins though. Just because I think I have other ones somewhere that I just need to like clean out. I just talked to a mom out there in the Wild Brothers in the checkout line of Target because she had I think three or four kids with her. One, she was baby wearing and I noticed her carrier first because it's an Artipop, which is like a kind of higher end brand. They're really cute and they make like adorable patterns of them. And I've basically been trying to decide if I wanna put one of those on my registry or not. And you know, it's one thing to like read reviews online, right? Compared to asking a woman who is out in the wild with like three or four kids, like I said. She was baby wearing her very young child. She said that her daughter was five months old and that she loves it. She feels like the support is good and that it's cute and that she always gets compliments on it. And she was like, since having her five months ago, I've maybe taken her stroller out two times and for the most part I just baby wear her and then we put the other kids like inside the shopping cart or something you know what I mean but she was like for me it's worth it and it's one of those things that you could put on your registry and just like hope somebody buys for you but you know what I'll wish you luck on is picking your cute little pattern and I was like yeah exactly I actually originally asked her husband in line if he liked it because I know that Finley is going to be wanting to baby wear as well and the the husband was like, I don't, I don't know. Oh, uh, you can ask her. She would know more. And I was like, I should have just asked the woman, you know, <laughs> like should have just asked her. But um, she told me the tea that he doesn't even baby wear. She was like, that's why he doesn't know anything is because he doesn't like to wear the babies. And I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, she was really nice. And I'm glad that I asked her because like I said, <laughs> you know, it's different reading reviews online compared to just asking a woman in public. And I love talking to strangers. It's so fun because nobody ever expects to talk to anybody when they're out and sometimes it's like a little pleasant surprise of your day you know I was like you look so cute I love it really adds to your outfit she was like thank you that's why you want it I also got a banana in some true fruit because they don't sell true fruit at my co-op and I want it for little snackies at night and I'm gonna go to the co-op now this is so not ripe y'all I'm having a really painful evening right now the baby keeps like pressing on my bladder and after I took the Tylenol <laughs> after Target. I got like a burning stomach ache. So I just need to go home. But I did just go to the co-op and I got all the stuff that I needed to. And I went to the bathroom before I left. And my fucking earring broke. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me. I just need to go home. 
thousands of tears later. Hey y'all, it's the next day now and I'm feeling a little bit better, but I just wanted to end off this vlog here because I have other things to film. <laughs> In particular, I'm going to be doing my organizational video today, so that will be the next upload that you see. And I just got all ready for that. But yeah, last night when I got home, I just immediately ate some dinner, put on an eye mask, did a meditation and tried to read and then just like turned all the lights off and was like, I need to go to sleep, okay? And I had a very fitful night of sleep. <laughs> Which is so funny because in this vlog I was like, I haven't been getting many headaches and I've been sleeping so good And it's like, oh god, but you know pregnancy and hormones and all of those things they just go up and down So I'm 23 weeks now. Do you want to see my bump? I'm gonna show it to you anyway I like my outfit a lot today. I love a good floral on floral moment But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and you know getting into some new routines walking I actually <laughs> Yesterday I counted like my errands and being out on the town and walking around and whatever as my 30 minutes for the day because when I got home I was in so much pain I the last thing I wanted to do was get on a treadmill for 30 minutes so I'm kind of making that like a whew, that worked it's my 30 minutes walking yesterday but I'll have to get back to it today but yeah I mean I've just been doing that in my reading and my meditating and I started a new book called Milk Fed which is a very popular book and it's a little weird but I do love it and I also so started which you guys would have seen in this video random clips of me listening to my audiobook I'm listening to Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas which is like her first series before the Akatar series and it was highly suggested to me now that I've finished Akatar so that's what I'm reading currently and doing and yeah it's the same old same old routines other than that here at the old homestead and Finley's working on the bedroom and I'm about to go up there and join him in the attached bathroom for a little bit of a work day. So over and out, hope you enjoyed this vlog. When I'm not on here, you can find me on Patreon and I'll just see you in my next video. Stay smiling, bye y'all.